So here's a brand new charade knife, the SCH-110, which at the time of the recording is not released yet. I don't know what the final price is going to be. As you can see, it's a folding karambit. So let's take a look at this. The blade is made of 9CR18 MOV stainless steel, which has a carbon content of 0.95 and a typical hardness of 58 to 60 HRC. From what I understand, this is the Chinese equivalent of 440C. So definitely a solid choice. It's not amazing, but a decent steel. So can't complain about that. And then you have G10 handle scales, which is nice. Got uh, somewhat more aggressive texture in the center here, uh, a bit smoother towards either end. And the handle scales are beveled. The handle feels fairly smooth. It's not overly abrasive. It has some jimping here on the ring, on the base of the handle, as well as on the top and on the spine of the blade. There's also some jimping on the liner. As you can see, it has this open pillar construction. So very easy to clean and maintain. It has ambidextrous thumb studs. Unfortunately, the pocket clip is not ambidextrous. It is reversible for either tip up or tip down carry. But as usual, lefties have been left out in the rain, if you will, because you cannot put it on the other side. As a left-handed person, you could put the pocket clip in the opposite position and then carry it kind of like this in your pocket. You could then just put your finger through it and draw it that way. The only problem is then it gets a little awkward to open. You kind of have to then push it open and then flick it open the rest of the way. So not an ideal solution, but yeah, then again, most knife makers tend to ignore left-handed users, so nothing new there. I have to say that generally, as much as I like karambits, I'm not the biggest fan of folding karambits, simply because they have some features that make them a lot less practical than a fixed blade karambit. Uh, for one, if you fold it up, it's still a fairly large package. The, the blade is normally not overly long to begin with, and the strong curve that karambits normally have means that you don't really have all that much protruding in the direction of the length of the handle. So you reduce a bit of length and make it a lot wider. It's still not overly compact. And another observation that I made about folding karambits is that they often seem to be optimized for use in the saber grip. You can see that by the, the shape of the handle, the finger troil here. And also the ring is often not large enough for someone with bigger hands to actually fit their index finger through. And this is definitely an example of that. I don't have particularly large hands, but my index finger barely fits in there. So if, if my finger was any larger than this, then it simply wouldn't fit. And you know, even so, it's kind of tight. Yeah, I know, that's what he said. Anyway, so this is a bit of an issue since the karambit traditionally, at least, is supposed to be used in a reverse grip. You know, that's where the, the curvature really comes in, into play. And this is just not as comfortable or practical in a reverse grip. And also one of the typical moves with the karambit, the, this flick here is not that easy, for one, because you have this additional piece here, which as you spin it, kind of knocks against your middle finger. And also because the hole is that small. And of course, it wouldn't make much sense anyway, because you don't have a sharpened edge on the back here. The nice thing about this piece, of course, is that you could strike with it if necessary. The ironic part is that I find the most comfortable grip with this knife is actually this right here. 
which completely ignores the ring and is, well, pretty much the opposite of what a karambit is designed for. But yeah, the way it's shaped, this is simply the most comfortable grip, for, at least for me. And uh, yeah, it's not quite <laughs> how you're supposed to hold a karambit. So that is a little strange. Let's check out the sharpness out of the box. So it looks like no push cut possible on the thin paper. Let's see, what about slicing? Cut. Uh, that doesn't work either. Oh, there we go. Depends a little bit on how you hold it, but it just doesn't seem all that sharp. Yeah, definitely not very satisfied with that. Should be a lot sharper in my opinion. The nice thing about a hawkbill blade like this is of course that even when the edge is not particularly sharp, you can usually do reasonable cuts with just the tip. And especially, you know, tearing into cardboard boxes and the like is very easy with something like this. So the blade definitely has a lot of potential, a lot of utility value, but I just wish that they had put a keener edge on it. Let's see how it does on regular office paper. Yeah. Even that doesn't work all that well. So the edge is definitely not satisfying. As far as the fit and finish is concerned, it seems flawless. Uh, Lockup is extremely solid, no wiggle at all, and I don't see any kind of you know, manufacturing flaws, or no burrs or marks in any way, so it's all well finished. And uh, it definitely feels like a well-built knife. Usually I like pronounced finger troils. But in case of a karambit, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have this large troil there and then not too much here. It's kind of counterintuitive and opposite to the way that in which a karambit is normally used. I mean, if you like a hawkbill blade knife and, and just ignore the uh, karambit aspect, it's not really an issue. If you prefer to hold it this way, no problem, but it just seems a little odd to me. But apart from those points, it is a nice knife. The, like I said, the hawkbill blade is definitely useful for a variety of utility tasks. Uh, as far as self-defense is concerned, that's another uh, typical application of karambits. I personally just don't think that a folding karambit is that useful for it. For self-defense, I would definitely recommend a fixed blade karambit over it. That way you don't have to fiddle with trying to open it. And uh, it's just a little more accessible. So it's quite nice to see that Raid now also has a karambit knife. I would really hope to see some changes in the design. Like I said, larger ring and uh, somewhat different shape here. Like personally, I just make this relatively flat, you know, no troils here, just pretty much the same as on the back, you know, just a continuous curve. I actually think in this case it would be more functional, but um, yeah, hope this was helpful as a first impression and thanks for watching.